Hello everyone, I am here with holiday look number two uh, for this Gift of Glam series. So I already showed you kind of um, a cranberry lip, really pretty dramatic gold eye. Um, this one is still more on the gold side. Um, I'm gonna try to make it a little more rosy gold um, with a lighter lip. And this one also, if you're into glitter, um, this would be a good one to add some glitter to. Unique doesn't carry any glitter, um, but there's you know lots of glitter out there. Just make sure that you do cosmetic glitter, not craft glitter, because craft glitter can really damage your eyes. Okay, so, um, and I also shared with you my highlighting and contouring video, um, my basic foundation routine. So that's in a previous video. My brows are also in a previous video. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be honest, as far as blush, um, I'm not really big into blush, but some looks do look better with blush. Um, and all I have are our original loose powders of blush, which I don't really like. We have blushes that are impressed form, you know, just, just like this. Um, but I have never purchased them. Um, I don't really use blush. Uh, today I did use a little bit of MAC Peaches, and so blush just doesn't really translate on me. They all kind of turn orange, so um, that's just me personally. So with, with blush, um, just kind of go with, if you like wearing blush, go with what looks good on you, and a little bit goes a long way. You just want to look um, fresh, you know, not painted. So dab a little bit on the apples, the cheeks, and work your way up. So I, I use the Malibu bronzer, which is my go-to, and a little bit of this orange blush, um, Peaches by MAC. Uh, everything else I have on is unique, as I showed you in a previous video. So, moving on. Sorry, my eyes are a little sensitive to the light, and I'm trying to adjust here. Alrighty, so I'm taking elegant it's a cream eyeshadow oh and also this month if you buy a set of three cream eyeshadows you get our um all new liquid sorry i'm squinting all new liquid eyeliner for free and it's not even for sale yet because it's brand spanking new i'm super excited about it mm. so i will definitely be ordering some shadows myself I'm going to use this one also as a highlighter. So before I put it on my eyes, I'm actually going to dab it right here on the tops of my cheekbones. You know what? I can use my finger. So I'm just going to scoop some out with my gigantic nail there. And I'm just going to put it on the top of my cheekbone. Keep it further out. You don't want to take it too far in because it will, if you put any kind of shimmer or highlight on top of large pores, it's just going to draw attention to them and make them look larger. So right now I'm just putting this kind of where the light hits. So here and here and maybe even down the center of my nose. I'll try that. That also gives it a slimming effect. This is something that JLo does a lot. Ooh, I got a big chunk of it. Oh wow, let's blend it in. See? Okay, wipe this excess off. All right, now I'm back to using my brush. I'm gonna use this more so as an eyeshadow base. I've got concealer on the tops of my eyes, um, but I really like, I wear these creams by themselves, which surprises me because I've always hated creams, but I do like these. And um, I like to use them as an eyeshadow base as well to just really make the colors pop. It locks them in as well. Okay, and take a little bit up on top of this brow bone. This right in the arch. Okay, 
all done with that. I have, I have sniffers. Okay, I'm actually going to be combining palettes um, one and three. If this is too much for you, totally understand. Um, it won't be the same effect, but you can use these two colors from palette one or these two colors from palette three. Um, but I'm going to be using Brassy, it's the gold color on my lid. Tickled, or yeah, tickled right here in my crease and blending it upwards. And then on my bottom lash line, I'm probably going to go with Either irate, which is a matte black, or forthright, a matte brown on the bottom. I haven't decided yet. I'm just going to see what this looks like as I get started. Okay, so I'm going to start with Tickle. That's the pinkish color. I'm going to do that up in my crease. And blend it up higher. This is good for really any eye color, but since it does have this pink, it's gonna be really good for those of us with um, hazel eyes and also green and, and, and brown. But, you know, blue eyes can wear it too. It's just gonna make the hazel eyed girls, the green eyed girls, make them pop. And brown, brown eyed gals, you kind of have your pick of anything really. Lucky. This is gonna be one of our more subtle looks, I think. Alright, so now, and it's also super fast, so now I'm just going to go and take Brassy, that's the gold color. I'm going to apply that on my lid. Yeah, so if you have any type of cosmetic glitter, that would look really cool here on your lid on top of this gold. And I'm going to make a big deal about this lid here. Really feature that gold. When I'm done, I'll go back in. I'm gonna add more of the <clears throat> the tickled color, just so I really get that nice fade. I'm laying this on pretty heavy because I want the color to be really concentrated. Going back in with that one again. Just darkening it up. Going kind of a little bit, it's above my socket crease, really. Which makes your eye look larger, you know. You, just, you can create whatever shape you want. So there's that. Okay. Now, if I had my liquid eyeliner, I would totally use that, but I don't. So, I'm gonna be using a pencil. I'm also a big fan of gel liner. Unique doesn't have a gel, but it, it takes longer is the only thing. So I don't do it every day. These are nice and cool. And I use this a lot. It's just a nub now. It's my phone. Okay. 
I'm gonna actually tight line my waterline here. And as I do sometimes, uh, just to save time on this video, your time and mine, um, I'll be applying my 3D Plus Mascara, but I have a separate video for that, just like with my brows in, in the foundation. So I am going to let you just watch that. Most of you, since you're in this group, you already have it. I'm uh, tight lining right now, and I do have a video on that as well. It was a Periscope broadcast I did a while ago. My eyes are so sensitive to the light. Okay, I may add, you can add a wing if you like. That's kind of personal preference. I haven't decided what I want to do with this yet. I'm going to add my lipstick and see. I'm using my uh, pouty pencil. It's my absolute favorite. Just going to line my lips. And uh, upscale lipstick, another one of my faves. So I like this look, it's not your typical Christmas color. A little more on the natural side, but like subtly glam. Sorry, let me just check this real quick, make sure it's not important. Okay. So uh, I'm going to go back, I need to put some, li uh, not liner, uh, shadow on the bottom here. I'm going to use Zealous, and it's a shimmery brown from palette one, and I'm going to take it down pretty far and just kind of smoke it out. Take a little right here and just kind of make a tiny little C right here on the outside. This is the first time I've created this look, so you guys are in like in the creative process. I found a, a photo that gave me some inspiration. I was like, all right, we're gonna create this one. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, I'm just going to clean up. This has a little bit of concealer on it from me cleaning my brows. So I'm just going to clean that up. I'm going to skip the liner on the top. Um, you can totally do it. Um, if you want to just do a classic liner or if you want to do a dramatic cat eye. I would say for this... Um, since it is a little more subtle, uh, I would really focus on making your lashes look awesome. Nice and full and uh, feathery. And if you prefer to do fake lashes, then go ahead. It's all personal preference. You know, I use this stuff every day and I love it, but I have nothing against fake lashes either, so sometimes there's certain events that call for it, or certain looks. So 
So I just did a coat of gel on the top and on the bottom. So now, um, once I get my mascara finished, s sort this mop out, find a cute outfit, and then I'm ready for a holiday party. Except for the fact that I don't have one tonight. <laughs> so wherever I go today, I'm going to be looking very glam. <laughs> That's okay. Alright. So I'm just adding another coat of gel here. I just did that base coat, you know, so now I just got the tips wet again. And now I'm going to put on my fibers. Seal them down. Yep, and then I'll do the other eye and maybe keep adding one more coats. I'll be sure to take a picture of my final look. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Here's a little close up. This eye isn't done yet. And the lipstick.